the answer is what? You guys took the prerequisite, right? So can I divide both sides of an equation by this uh, non-zero number? Okay, let's divide by n of s. You guys with me on this? Now, if I divide the right side by n of s, I'm dividing this sum in difference by n of s. Is that true? The effect of which is I'm dividing every term by what? By n of s. n of s, n of s, n of s. Does anybody recognize any of these definitions? This is a definition of what? Probability of an or. So probability of A or B is equal to, what's this, a definition of? Probability of A plus, what's this a definition of? Probability of B minus the probability of what? A and what? B. You guys are going to use this fact when you have probability questions that involve the word or. I want to point that out to you. Okay. So notice the warm-up I gave you was designed to help um, begin discussion of these concepts for new things. Look at the last two problems, right? That's what we sort of discussed. But look at problem six. Isn't that an or question? We already answered it. But let's use this probability addition rule. So that last question for the bag of marbles, for example, was this. What's the probability you select a what? What does it say? Blue or green marble. Is that true? Blue or green. If you use the addition rule, what does that mean? I have to determine the probability of selecting a blue plus the probability of selecting a green minus the probability of selecting both a blue and a what? Green marble. Is that true? Using the addition rule? So tell me, what's the likelihood or probability of selecting a blue marble? You guys want to tell me? What's that? Didn't we already answer that question? Yeah, we were, I think that's question, that's the first one. What was that likelihood? Two over what? Two over 12. Good. What's the probability of selecting a green marble? Did we ask, answer, answer that question this morning? <clears throat> Four over what? Twelve. Good. What's the probability of selecting both a blue and a green marble? Is it Karen? Carrie, sorry. Carrie. What's that probability? Blue and green, zero. You know why I asked you? Because you're the one who told me it was zero. So I'm hoping you remember in this context. Zero over 12. What was this probability? What was this probability here? That was zero. Is that true? OK. So 2 over 12 plus 4 over 12, what does that give you? Is that 6 over 12, which was 1 half? Wasn't that the same answer we got this morning using this definition? OK. So the reason the addition rule exists is because although it might have been easier for you to to deduce the answer this morning using strictly the definition of probability with an or context, thinking of it that way. Yeah, you can do that. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you get other problems that are a little bit more complicated, then it starts to become a little bit of an issue. Okay? So this addition rule is designed to help you, not hurt you. You're gonna anybody thinking of getting a tattoo? Hmm? No? Well, if you were going to get one, what should you get? The addition rule. OK, you guys OK with that? I'm going to give you a few uh, other rules since we're on this uh, topic. Um, we have something called another fact. 
Wow. How about this? Let's, let's do this here. Give you another example. Standard deck. You select a marble, uh, sorry, you select a card at random. What's the probability of selecting? First question a club or an ace. Second question, an ace or a king. Use the addition rule for probability, this thing here, that we just talked about, derived for these two questions. See what you get. Let's pause, Eddie. Okay, here we go. First question. Probability you select a club or an ace. By the addition rule, you have to determine the probability of selecting a club plus the probability of selecting an ace minus the probability of selecting a club and a what? Ace. Is that true? What's the probability of selecting a club? 13 over 52. Plus the probability of selecting an ace? 4 over 52. Good. Minus, what's the probability of selecting a club and an ace? Remember, you're selecting a what? A card, meaning you're selecting one card. So the you're requiring that that single card that you're selecting here, this one card, be both an ace and a what? Club. You see what I'm saying? It's the ace of clubs. How many ace of clubs are there in a standard deck? Out of how many cards? 52. OK? So you see that you know this may seem easier to just simply think your way through, and sometimes it is, but this addition rule helps clarify things for you. So what is, how do you add fractions with the same denominator? Huh? You add the numerators, 13 plus 4 minus 1, what is that? So it becomes 16 over, what is that reduced to? 4 over what? Is that 4 over 13? OK, good. Compare that to, can I erase this here? You guys have this in your notes? Compare that to, determining the probability of selecting an ace or a king. Probability of selecting an ace plus the probability of selecting a king, minus the probability of selecting an ace and a what? King. What's the likelihood of selecting an ace? What is it? Four 